Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. Bill Zettler, what are we going to do here in Illinois? We don't have the governor's mansion, we don't have the House, we don't have the Senate. Exactly. So That's exactly what we have to do. We have that? to do what Jack calls six and one. You get six. Six plus six minus one. Six plus six minus one. The minus one is Quinn. The six plus six are in the Senate and the House. It's not Quinn, it's Madigan, Madigan, really. Madigan. We, Madigan. Can, we can get started in November, because if, if we get the majority of House Republicans, the House being Republicans, then Madigan is out. I think he'll retire. He's not going to take second fiddle. He's been there 42 fiddle. years making trouble for us. Yeah, he was there. He voted in the Constitutional Convention. That's how long he's well, been here's, there. Well, here's what really <clears throat> uh, uh, <clears throat> frosts my toes, <clears throat> is that despite ideology, Democrat, Summer. Republican, whatever, the taxpayers of Illinois have absolutely no representation anymore. The unions not only have bought our politicians, but they go as far as installing their own <clears throat> people in our local school boards so that the community has nobody representing them. If you're a taxpayer, you should vote Republican for for, for one reason only, because you don't have a voice. I Tear disagree party with you. Tea Party Ding. people, get busy Ding. and get on your school boards. But as it is now, when you look at your superintendent, what you're looking at is uh, just a guy in a nice crap. suit uh, pretending he knows something. You've got this a nice is my suit best suit today. today. <laughs> but uh, it, your superintendent doesn't have much of anything to do really with running the schools. For one thing, he has no sales department. The, the truant officer will send him all the customers he needs. And get this, <laughs> he, <laughs> the superintendent has nothing to do with a teacher's contract. It's a bureaucrat. Yeah, and they got a law going that you can't interfere while the negotiations are going on between the school board and the union. While they're, while they're doing this, now don't think you can poke any of this good information that Bill has got about the, the running of this or the stuff that I'm talking about is the cost of the buildings, which is twice too much at least. Mm -hmm. uh, everything these idiots in the K-12 system, their management is the world's worst. So there could be a lot to be said while they're negotiating wages. But the superintendent doesn't get to do that either. So they're making these $200,000 a year salaries and pensions, and uh, it's uh, foolishness. So we don't have an enemy, really, except to get people out of the idea that the, the superintendents are running anything. The real problem is the schools are being run by the teachers' union. The IEA, which is a subsidiary, a bill mentioned, the NEA, which Forbes called in an article he wrote way back in 1993. I circulated a thousand copies of it where he called the NEA the National Extortion Association. Well, and what they've done to Illinois, the extortion word fits. I mean, if they weren't real burglars or extortionists, uh, they've been more successful uh, than the yellow kid that robbed all the banks. But, but Michael, you know, Michael said something, though, that the, the, the taxpayers don't have a representation. The taxpayers are the representation. This grassroots populist Tea Party movement, that is who rep we represent ourselves. Well, the problem, my point is we have no representation in Springfield. The unions and the politicians have an incestuous relationship where the unions get them installed and then they do whatever the unions want. Uh, Mike, uh, you bring up the good point, and the fact is that what we are doing is a six plus six minus one. We've got an organization there in the, in the uh, Republican Renaissance Pack. Uh, we have vetted uh, about 50 people that will be into this next election that are fully worthy of being elected and taken on the stinking union. And we think we can get them elected uh, going ahead. Because of a lot of the work of the Tea Party, we do not have to accept defeat. We are going to take over the legislature yeah. using the Republican Party, and we're going to get a lot of Tea Party people in, and there are a lot of good Republicans that appreciate the help that's coming out of the Tea Party people. They're a real standing army. So uh, be of good cheer. We're going to take on the unions first in Illinois, and by September 1st, We'll be ready to fight to get the good people elected, and we'll throw these rascals out 
that have been feeding the unions. And Scott Walker has, has already provided a great model, model. on how to start. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bill, it's, it's bad. I mean, teachers are making, what is the highest pension salary in Illinois? The highest pension in Illinois is $440,000 a year. That's on a pension. That's on a pension. It's almost a half a million dollars. Yes. This, that and that's person, taxpayer dollars that this person is, is, is getting. Well, they made, they made some contributions, but mainly it's taxpayer dollars. And that particular person's COLA, just his 3% increase this year, was more than the average Social Security check for a year. <laughs> why? Why? Because that's part of their contract. <clears throat> it was part of their contract when they worked. Yeah, this is a college professor, the uh, highest one. And we're okay. This is a college professor that's making almost five hundred thousand dollars a year, plus gets a three percent cost every of year. living plus increase. Plus, virtually mm -hmm. free health care. No, free health care. Free health care. Ta right. No, 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 no. If no, you no. work twenty years, free, you get free. Free is not free. Taxpayer. Funded. Very healthcare. good point. Very good point. Okay, because exactly there's right. no such thing as no. a free lunch. That's okay? another thing I taxpayers that... are paying for. Mm -hmm. Health care provided by taxpayers in Illinois is $2.5 billion just at the state level. $2.5 billion. You know what I love is that you have got all of these facts, you've put them in your marvelously readable book, The, the Scam. The, the it is a scam. scam. And you've got so much ammunition every day of the week, all the way to election. You could knock them over with a factoid that uh, factoid people, of the day on the Champion News. We'll start yep, doing that. Absolutely, factoid of the day. knock it's, them over. It's really time for <clears throat> for people to awaken <clears throat> to what's really going in, on in Illinois with the pensions. We're going to come back with Bill Zettler after the break. Stay with us.